Have you ever wondered how different 3D printing methods can stack up? Let's compare three widely used additive manufacturing methods, FDM, SLA, and SLS. In this video, we'll explore how each technology works using a macro camera to examine the finish and surface quality of printed parts up close. We'll also discuss the pros and cons of each additive manufacturing method, and at the end, I'll even show you how you can print some of your own parts using insanely high-end and expensive 3D printers for free. But before we get to that, let's talk about Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM. This is probably what you picture when you think of 3D printing. FDM works by extruding a thermoplastic filament through a heated nozzle layer by layer to build the final object. These printers are the cheapest and most common, and you can get a solid one for about 200 bucks. Check out the links in the description to see my recommendations. Let's take a closer look at some FDM printed parts. As you can see, the surface finish is characterized by visible layer lines. These lines result from the filament being laid down in successive layers, typically at a resolution of 100 to 300 microns. The finish is relatively rough compared to other methods, and you might notice some slight inconsistencies or imperfections. Also, there's usually one surface that's particularly flat, which is the one that touches the hot build plate. Despite these slight drawbacks, you can still print some pretty cool parts with complex geometries, like moving parts and chains. FDM printers have a lot of pros. They're cost effective, you can use a wide range of materials with them like PLA ABS nylon, they have fast print times, you can print in multicolor, and there's no post-processing that's really necessary besides removing support material in some cases. However, the print quality can overall be rougher than some other methods and visible layer lines require post-processing to smooth them out and you have limited detail resolution. Next, we have stereolithography, or SLA. This method uses a UV laser to cure liquid resin layer by layer. The laser traces each layer onto the resin surface, solidifying the desired shape with high precision and resolution. Let's examine some SLA printed parts. The surface finish is much smoother compared to FDM, with layer lines being almost invisible to the naked eye. Under the macro camera, you can see the fine details and smooth curves, thanks to the high resolution of the printers, which typically range from 25 to 100 microns. These printers are also pretty common, and there are tons of great options out there that range in price. SLA printers are great at printing high resolution and detail, smooth surface finishes, and they're ideal for intricate designs and things like gears. However, they're more expensive than FDM printers and limited to photopolymer resins which are hard and stiff but brittle. They also require longer post-processing time since you have to remove the support material, wash, and then cure the parts. Before moving on to SLS printers though, I wanted to shout out the BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro Live Demo Webcam for allowing us to get these awesome detailed macro shots. This all-in-one webcam features a Sony 8 megapixel sensor and a 15 times macro lens, which unlock intricate details that allow me to inspect even the smallest structures and surface textures. It's easy to use too. All I have to do is plug the camera into my computer, navigate to the Inspire website or software, and it's ready to go. There are a bunch of features in the Inspire tool too, like a built-in ruler, keystone correction, and split screen functionality. The camera itself has a really nice build quality and includes some useful features like auto rotate, smart focus, auto exposure, a built-in microphone, live demo webcam dual function, dual image style, which includes a portrait mode to blur the background, and a demonstration mode to have everything in focus. But my favorite feature is the 15 times macro lens with its own light ring so you can get high quality images even in dimly lit areas. Check out the links in the description for more info. Finally, we have selective laser sintering, otherwise known as SLS. This method uses a laser to sinter powdered material, binding it together to form a solid structure. Think of it as a very similar process to SLA, except that instead of a vat of liquid resin, SLS uses a bin of powder. Here are some close-ups of the SLS printed parts. The surface finish is granular and slightly rough due to the powdery nature of the starting material. However, SLS parts typically have no visible layer lines and offer excellent mechanical properties. The resolution is generally good too, at around 100 microns. Some pros of SLS printers are that they don't need support structures, the parts offer excellent material properties, and the printing method is suitable for complex geometries. Some cons though are that the surface finish can be a little rough, the printers themselves cost more, it takes longer to print, there are limited material choices in color, and post-processing is required. In summary, each 3D printing method offers unique advantages and drawbacks. FDM is budget friendly but has visible layer lines. SLA provides exceptional detail and smoothness but requires more post-processing time. SLS excels in mechanical strength and complex designs with good surface finish but is more costly. It's important to weigh all these pros and cons when selecting the method you choose to manufacture your part in order to meet your needs. 
If you're in the market for a new 3D printer, check out my recommendations in the description below. Now, if you don't want an additive manufacturing machine, but do want to make some AM parts, I highly recommend using JLC 3DP. Their website makes it really easy and inexpensive to make some 3D printed parts. All you have to do is go to JLC3DP.com, then you can upload your file, choose your manufacturing process, materials, and colors, then click order and they'll ship it right to your doorstep. They offer a range of additive manufacturing techniques including SLA resin, MJF nylon, SLS nylon, FDM ABS plastic, and even SLM stainless steel. And don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment for $60 off your first purchase. You can use that link to create a new account and you'll get $60 of free printing. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of 3D printing technologies. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting as those interactions help this channel immensely. And be sure to leave any questions and comments below.